Thank you, friends, and all the young engineers that I see. Thank you very much. I am grateful to CHT and MRPL for this invite. Thank you. Now, uh, everyone knows about, uh, so I will not waste your time showing you all this. Okay, these exchanges have been chosen because they have the maximum nuisance value. They are generally failing and their leakage is a very big problem. And uh, what is the leakage due to? We are very fortunate that there is leakage. If there was no leakage, it is like an hydrogen bomb. And uh, you will definitely realize that after I tell you. Uh, you see the internal here, the internals. Internals are the one which are transferring the bowl load to the gasket. Here the gasket, has, the bowl load is transferred to the gasket because it goes right at the center of the gasket. Otherwise, if there is a flange, then the bowl load is here. And uh, what happens is the bowl sizes go to about 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches because of the high pressure conditions here. And the flange has to be that much rigid, and it has to be that much bigger and rigid, and the bolts that much longer. You know. Here, the load is right at the center. So the bolt sides are tiny, small. So what happens is, when this load is transferred here, and if this gasket is not spiral wound as it used to be, and after Tima pointed out that uh, most of the leakage is due to the gasket crushing, uh, we all went for, everybody has gone for CAM profile, and we were the first to do that in BPCL, in uh, LOBS, where the leakage was taking place, and we had no option. And uh, it was a time where uh, uh, Mr. Reeves, who is an expert on bolts and gaskets, and he was invited by Chevron, and he said very categorically, you cannot but use spiral wound as per specification, because anything else will not work. And uh, the director refinery at that time, Mr. R. K. Singh, asked me, are you sure, Mr. Sippy, that uh, if you change it to CAM profile, it will work? I said, we have tested these exchanges so many times in front of you, every time the gasket has failed. And uh, there is um, intermixing. So what do we do? And I am 100% sure that if you put CAM profile, which cannot give way, and it will work. And it has been working ever since. Now the question is, if this is working, it is fine as far as uh, BS4 is concerned. But if you want to go to BS6, uh, it becomes an impossibility because you want leak proof, and that is 99.99% leak proof. And we even uh, do helium tests to see that this is that much leak proof. Now, if that happens, we have to make this internal very rigid. Only then we can transfer this load to this and make it that much leak proof. But if we do that, this notch over here is going to collapse. And this is like a hydrogen bomb. Fortunately, nowhere in the world it is that much leak proof, so we are all safe. Believe me, you, what I am saying is right. And in time to come, you will definitely know this, because the more and more of um, this um, people who manufacture will come up with this or the licensors will come up with this. Uh, and uh, people who are licensees, they don't know what they are doing because the transfer technology cannot be transferred by uh, licensor to licensee. It is impossible. There are so many variables that is impossible to re. Unless you are a proprietor, it's your proprietary equipment, which in our case it is. I'll show you that. It is not possible to be a licensee and know everything, so most of the exchanges are failing because of that. Fortunately, they are crushing. Nobody has made it so rigid. Now, why should it crush? That is a big question. You see, when you are giving the hydro test, it is at the ambient temperature, everything is fine. 
But what happens in process? Here, as you know, the temperatures are very, very high. Now, stainless steel, the coefficient of expansion, thermal expansion is much larger in low alloy steel, which is almost blocks the temperature, doesn't make any difference to it. But this expands. So, where is the load going to go? Either it will crush the gasket, which it used to, or this notch over here will have fissures and gradually that's propagate and it'll fail. So what we did, we extended our shrinking. You know, our shrinking is there because otherwise it's bell mouthing. What is bell mouthing? Bell mouthing is actually happens because I will take you to other slides. See, we do our machining like this. World over machining is done in a boring machine where the entire shell is fabricated and you're doing the gasket face. Now, what happens with that? The tool is rotating. If the tool is rotating, it's going against the gravity and then coming down with gravity. So, obviously, the cut can not be uniform. So, in our case, what happens is we do it on the VTL. And uh, VTL, as you know, the tool is with gravity down there. It's fixed and the table is turning. So when the table is turning, your equipment, your channel is turning, it's being machined and the machining is very, very good. It can take cam profile, which is a metallic gasket and it will be leak proof with cam profile. Whereas spiral wound has got cushions, you know, so it is good for that where you don't have such a good finish. It is good for those uh, where you have done the machining with boring, cam profile is good. I'm sorry, the spiral wand is good. But spiral wand will not take the load. Now, what happens is if you are making this leak proof, this is the place where I have to come to. As you see, see what I have done, I have extended my shrink ring to beyond this notch. That can be clearly seen. I have extended the shrinking beyond this notch. As a result, it is much safer. Be because even if it does propagate, it cannot go beyond the shrinking because that's a different layer altogether. So it's absolutely safe. Now, what happens if in an exchanger which does not have a shrink ring, how do you make it extra safe? Because shrink ring technology is ours and we have patented it and that patent is going to be there for uh, another five, six years. And uh, after that, we are taking a global patent, so it will stay there. So what do you do? There has to be another way out. And the other way out is not to have that notch at all. We have done that. And uh, we have carried out not only prototype, we've got uh, the full size ones that we have done. And there is no notch at all. Without the notch, this exchanger, it becomes smaller in size. The channel becomes smaller. And there is no notch. This is the one that we have done. And uh, very soon, our exchanger is being manufactured. Under Technip, Technip has looked at all our designs and uh, endorsed it. And uh, I'm sure there will be other licenses will also come up with the same idea because the notch is uh, making it a hydrogen bomb. If you wanted leak proof, if you want to BX6, it has to be leak proof. You cannot do with the notch. You have to take the notch out. Having said that, and uh, the other things that are there here, what all we have done will be all available on the internet. We don't have that much time. Time constraint is there. Is there any questions? How do you address the old ones? How do you address the old ones? The old ones that we have made are from, let's say, um, uh, last 10 years, we have used the shrink ring in the extended form, so, so everything is fine. The current exchanges that you have got, without that, 
you will not be able to make it leak proof because if you make it leak proof, this is a danger. All LNG milled exchanges, they are now being, you know, as you know, they are getting welded again. And some modification is being done and this has been done in, I think, Ayushir Panipat and it was again repeated in Paradip uh, refinery. And now we, now we are planning to do it somewhere in Mathura also. Fine. So, they are safe. Nothing to worry about. Because there is no gasket there, there is no bolt load. So, there is no danger at all. But then I will not be able to open that. Juke will not be able to open it. So, it is like uh, not having, uh, you see basically these exchanges are for high pressure, high temperature, uh, corrosive service, hazardous service and dirty service. Main thing is the dirty service. For dirty service, you have to keep servicing, you have to keep dismantling. Those exchanges you cannot dismantle. Secondly, you have taken away one problem but given another problem to me. I cannot open it. You can't open it. But you are safe. But Efficiency will not be there. Euro 6 requirements, basically they have pushed us to change some of the bridge lock. So, you are doing the wise thing by welding them all up. Because there is no other way that you can get Euro 6. Because if you try to get Euro 6 and you have that uh, internal which is uh, uh, really strong, um, heavyweight. In that case, you can have the bolt load to um, uh, transfer the load, but that load is then going to come on the notch. And it's a cyclic load. So, these are thermal shocks. Gradually, you'll see fissures coming there and they'll propagate and burst. It's an hydrogen bomb. I'm say, saying this, this to you, it looks very ridiculous to everyone because nobody has ever thought of that and it has never happened. But only when the things happen, you believe them. Seeing is believing. So, one of these days, definitely if somebody even manages to do that, it will blast. Otherwise, and then I'm sure that other licensors are there also watching all this. They will also remove the notch. Uh, you are talking about now high-low variety. So, high-low will get jammed, the studs will get jammed because they are first of all large in diameter and secondly, uh, they are threaded into the body of the flange. The flange material is different from the bolt material, it is not a nut material. So, this, this is where what happened is uh, uh, they get jammed because uh, uh, the extra load is put there, gouling takes place. And after that, you just cannot remove it. You have to live with the leakage, leakage through the atmosphere. And if the gases are hazardous, it's dangerous. No, while opening or dismantling, these are not getting open. No, you have to, if the, uh, the other thing is the plug is not opening. Yeah. If the plug does not open, it is because, uh, as I told you earlier, bell mouthing takes place. Bell mouthing is very, very simple. If you see the first thread takes all the load. So, it is a wedge like uh, situation that happens over there. The first, when it takes the load, it deforms, you know. So, it becomes like a bell. So, that is why it is called bell mouthing. So, how to stop it from bell mouthing? What I thought was just stop it this way. So, I put a shrink ring there. Otherwise, you have to have a much thicker channel, much, much thicker channel. So, that becomes very, very expensive. You see, as per code, it is supposed to take the shear, so everything is fine. So, there are many threads to take the shear, but the thread that is engaged is only one when bell mouthing takes place. So, it is only one thread is taking the load. So, it is uh, because the code is very silent about uh, the bending moment. You see, normally a nut and bolt, a nut has got mm -hmm. all the um, strength, uh, unlike uh, this. Here, we reduce the strength because we want to reduce the cost. Or there may be the reason that, as you rightly told, that uh, manufacturing process of these threads. Huh. People you have told that others are uh, e e e tools e are rotating and in your yeah, case, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. may be the reason. Yeah. Root cause. No, I'll tell you. Um, uh, we are saying if there is a way out there. You see, when this is uh, deformed and is um, uh, like a bell mouth, the first thread takes place, and because of gouling, it gets stuck, jammed. 
So they find many ways of move, removing it so that you can service. So they're all fancy jigs and fixtures made. But uh, how long you can do that? You can't do that because you have to heat it up and then you have to cool this down to be able to do that, you know. That is not going to be easy. And even if you do so, as you know, Chevron has tried all possible methods. Irwin uh, Lamas is trying all possible methods to have uh, some less threads or in between no threads at all so that you can do enough of greasing and things like that. Yeah. During lunch time, we'll discuss in detail case, case to case basis. Yes, sir. Case to case basis, I think there are the answers to every problem. And if we study the case, most definitely we will be able to solve it. Okay. <laughs>